Hello, in this clip I'd like to talk about floor plans for Unicenter. And we started by taking a screen print of the page here and cropping the picture in the middle. We just press the print screen in Debian on the keyboard and we saved it to the desktop and opened it in the GIMP, the GNU image manipulation program. Just waiting for a moment for this to open. We just increase the size of it a bit, the view. We zoomed in a little bit to make it slightly larger. And we press the Shift and C keys on the keyboard so that we could crop the middle picture. Try to line it up with the borders of the original drawing. When that was done we just clicked on the image in the middle, saved it with the same file name, which is Restaurant Floor replace one that was there earlier and we had our picture just closing the GIMP down we can click on the picture but we really need some other information so if we open it with GIMP again as a single picture instead of the whole screen print we can find the ordinates. So along the top there is a ruler and down the left edge is a ruler. So if we take the centre of that table for example, if we call that table number 1, then it's at the top it lines up to about 80 and about 20 on the left. And we can find our ordinates and coordinates just by lining the tables up with the ruler. We can also check the properties, so if we open the image or click, right click on the image and we look at the image details we can see it's 606 pixels by 413 pixels high. And we could for example just replicate that, we could make something the same size and put our own pictures in it. So if we open a new file the same size, 606 by 413 in the GIMP. There's our blank same size and we can start to draw tables and things in it but that may not be very professional and uh, or consistent. We could of course use something like OpenOffice Draw or LibreOffice Draw and um, the drawing program or just the text the uh, word processor and then draw something in that. But one we prefer is LibreCAD this is a proper two-dimensional computer-aided design program and in the part library which we can download from the internet there's an architectural section and there's a furniture section in it with baths and uh, beds and various things that you might find in hotels or something we simply took part of that, put it in a folder called chairs and tables and we've got some items here so there are thumbnail pictures, there are PNG images and there are DXF drawing exchange format files which we can use in LibreCAD. There's one which we got which is a four seater restaurant table and we can create a block out of this and then we can copy it. So we go to block, create block we highlight the bits we need, we just press CTRL and A for all <coughs> and it highlighted the, the, the points in blue that you can see. We saved it as a block called REST 1100 times 60 and it appears in the block list on the bottom right of the screen there. And if we get this right we should be able to copy this and put the copies wherever we want them like that. We can have as many as we like if there's a grid layout we can align it to the grid and get it to snap to the grid so they're exactly positioned or we can do them randomly. We'll save that as it is, we'll call it floor layout and there's a screen print, that's what it will look like at the moment if we print it to a desktop printer or a, pl or a plotter.
Something else we can do is go into a, a setup screen there and we can change the orientation of the paper from portrait to landscape and that may suit our needs. It depends on the shape of the room and which way we want to look at it. So we can save that one. We can name it whatever we want. We'll pretend this is going into a converted, converted barn. We'll call it barn floor and save it as barn floor. And there's our original drawing. And we could use that one if we wanted to shrink it a little bit so it all fits on the screen nicely. And we'll save that one as barn two. And we've got a choice of a uh, black on white or a white on black. Those are our two pictures. If we choose one of them, we can crop the image from the center of it from the screen print we just did. Pick up the corners there, try and get it right on the edge of the drawing, and double click and save it. We can of course print the original and put it in a frame on the wall if we want to for fire escape purposes, staff training, general reference or whatever. But we, can, we can't see our coordinates if we just open it in an image viewer. But if we open it in the GIMP again, we can use our ruler to determine where the table labels should go. So that one it's looking to be about 180 to the centre. And on the other axis it looks to be somewhere around 80, very roughly. We don't have to be too accurate with this for the purpose of explaining what we did. Now if we open Unicenter, be patient, it's uh, running rather slow because we've got the screen recorder running. Click into Administration, Maintenance, we want Floors. We don't want restaurant floor, we want to put a new one in, so we'll call it Barn 2, save it. We can, there's a roof garden one we did earlier, just messing around, and a restaurant floor one as well. Going to main, um, doesn't want to save at the moment. We must have missed something. Come back to that because we haven't got the image probably. We'll go to maintenance again and floors. Now we'll find our desktop barn 2 image. We can see it all fits on there. We just have to scroll across a little bit because it's in a small window. And there's the other one. So we can choose one of those to use as our image. We'll go for the black one I think, the black background. And we'll save that and go back to maintenance and tables. Now we need to put in the positions of the tables. So for barn 2 we've selected table 1 we reckoned it was about 180 across and 80 down. So if we save that we can then mess around with other tables. Let's take table 2 out and rename table 3 to table 2 and we'll put some different ordinates in here. We'll change it to 350 and 350 just to see how that looks. Save that And log out. We'll exit completely and let this start up from scratch again. Click on the icon, give it a moment to load. Going to employee this time, and there is our layout. It all fits nicely in that window. We've got table one there. The label could be moved a bit, but we can play around with that. And the other one seems to have positioned itself fairly well purely by coincidence.
normally we'd have table 2 next to table 1 or something like that but this was just to show what can be done and we think that using the CAD program is a very good way forward because it, we, we can draw any shape of floor on it and we can use whatever furniture icons we want. Hoping that was useful to somebody, we'll do some more clips later.